everyone. We're going to solve this system of linear equations algebraically, and we're going to solve by elimination. A lot of times when you use elimination, it helps um, so you don't have to deal with a lot of fractions if you use substitution. The problem with this is we don't have uh, like terms to subtract to eliminate a variable. So we're going to make it work. And for me, you could either eliminate the X or the Y. Since these signs are opposite already, I'm going to eliminate the Y. So what I'm going to do is multiply the numerator by 6 and the denominator by 4. So I'm just expanding it. Make sure you do it to each term. So this is going to be 30x plus 24y equals uh, 72. This one, do all three, it's going to give you 28x minus 24y equals 160. Now we're going to add them up. Now we can eliminate the y. I'm going to erase that a little bit. So we're just going to add this. When I put parentheses on the add, that means you're adding the whole thing. So this is 58x. The zero property zeroes that out. And this is going to be 213, 232. And 232 divided by 58 is equals 4. So your x is 4. That means in our ordered pair we have x is 4. And so now we have to find our y. Because the solution is where the two lines intersect. So we can use either equation here. I'll go ahead and use the first one. So we have 5 times 4 plus 4y equals 12. This gives us 20 plus 4y equals 12. Now let's subtract 20 from both sides. So that gives me 4y equals negative 8. Divide both sides by 4. So y is negative 2. You can always check by plugging in the x here and the negative 2 here. So if I plug in 7 times 4 minus 6 times negative 2, that should equal 40. So this gives me 28 plus 12 does equal 40. It kind of helps because that means we did our problem correctly. This is the solution. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.